Welcome back, Conference USA Media Day. Last year, there were a number of great stories in Conference USA, but the one that got national headlines and the one that thrilled everybody who is a college football fan, the story of UAB. Last year, coming back after not playing football over a 1,000 days, they not only have a winning record, but they go to a bowl. And their head coach, who's also the reigning Conference USA Coach of the Year, Bill Clark, joins us. What's up, my brother? Uh, good to see you. Before. We're going to be talking about last year because that's important. Uh, A.J. Erdley, he is the starting quarterback. Conference USA honorable mention last season. Also, Broderick Thomas, the starting safety gentleman. Good to have you here. Thanks, I want to move this up just a little bit on your mouth. There you go. All right. Um, last year, you, you had over 40,000, 45,000 at that opening game. I did that game. What was it like when you ran out on the field? Because you don't want to get caught up in the emotion of the game, but that had to get you. It was unbelievable. I mean, I don't think there's any word to come from nothing to um, – and, you know, at the time we didn't know we'd set the record for a UAB game. Mm -hmm. uh, but the attendance, you know, we'd had the big concert the night before. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was just a great event and, and really a culmination of a lot of hard work. And, and you end up the season 8-5, and 6-2 and two in conference play. You were tied for number two in the West. But you and I were talking, and we've known each other a while. You said that was last year. Is it tough getting guys to understand you've got to have that balance between, hey, we did a great job last year, to that doesn't mean anything this year? You know, I, don't, I have not seen that out of our players to this point. Um, I think we've had a really good summer. We'll know a lot more here, what, in a few weeks. But uh, I think, you know, going to that bowl game, which was our dream, to, mm -hmm. to make a bowl, to go to the Bahamas, which was terrific, and, and then to have a loss. You know, I mean, that's the last thing we remember so I think that's probably brought us all down to earth and reminded us that it is literally game to game. And last year, as great as it is, it is it is behind us. Expectations are obviously high. And, and part of being a head coach, and no matter what level is, managing expectations, not necessarily just for the players, but for the fans. Have you had to address that? You know, I think we want, we want expectations. You know, I said right. that since the day I've been there, that, that we want to create expectations. We want our folks to – to, to expect to win, to want to win, to want to play for championships. I do think you've got to have realism and understand the league we're in, mm -hmm. any of us, uh, there's not a lot separating us. So it's going to be who plays well that day, who stays injury free. But I do think we've got some good expectations. Hopefully they're healthy expectations. Let's talk about the offense because you return nearly everybody on the offensive side of the football. In one article I read, it said you want the offense to lead the way. Talk about your offense. I do, just on the fact that they've got everybody back. And, and you know, we're always going to have high expectation for Broderick and those guys defensively. You know, that's, that's kind of where I've cut my teeth uh, is on the defensive side of the ball. But with all our returners, uh, I want those guys to feel like they should lead us. And, and you know, I think our defense kind of led us last year, not that we were bad offensively, but, um, you know, we've got all these offensive guys back and we filled in behind them with some really good players. Mm -hmm. So, we're, we're expecting big things out of them. Well, they got some good news today because earlier this morning, Spencer Brown was named to the Doak Walker watch list, the running back. That's a pretty big deal. It is, you know, and I think the question for Spencer in the spring was, you know, would he keep his head screwed on? I think that's always the question for anybody that has as much accolades as he did as a freshman. Spencer's a pretty quiet, humble guy, and, <clears throat> and he actually has some guys behind him that's going to be pushing him this year at running back. So, um, you know, is he going to be ready to, to do better than he did last year? And we'll see. But uh, I, from what I've seen up to this point, I, I hope he will. I want to make sure we got it in about Spencer Brown. Obviously, the Doak Walker watch list right now. You were talking about how you have to make sure that he understands what happened last year was last year. Yeah, you know, I think if you use that as a motivation, as an impetus to this year, and I, it's easy to relax. It's easy to say, you know, hey, all these people are bragging on me and I've accomplished this. Number one, he's got to remember that it starts with O-line, his quarterback, and all those guys, receivers blocking for him. The good news about Spencer, he's that kind of guy. Mm -hmm. You know, I think he's got an humble spirit. And uh, I have really seen, even in the last, I would say, few weeks, I've seen him, the hunger, the you know, what's that, oh, eye of the tiger. There you, you know, go. You see it in him now. And I'm, I'm excited. I mean, and, and he does have some guys behind him that are really going to push him, believe it or not. That's what you need. Now, a couple of things stand out. Number one, you've added some depth to tight end. True? Oh, yes. We've had two guys, believe it or not, we had two tight ends get hurt the very first mm -hmm. practice last year. We got them back. Plus, we've got the, all the guys back from last year. We moved to one of our coaches who was coaching tight ends receivers. He will just focus on the tight ends. Thought they got a lot better in the spring. And so, we're, you know, we're looking forward for good things from that group. A.J., what about improving the long passing game this season? Was that something that was addressed in the spring? Yes, sir. Uh, no doubt. Um, we 
our vertical passing game was not as good as we hope it would uh, been last year. So uh, we've been taking strides this summer, really working on it. Um, just me being with the receivers and the just the timing, that's really the key to it. But see, that opens up the running lanes, I would think, when you're able to throw that ball. Yeah, and also other way around with the running backs and the O-linemen we have, it's they got to respect that part of the game, too, and it will open up shots down the field. Now, you completed 64% of your passes last year, threw for over 1,800 yards, 14 touchdowns, but what stands out, only three interceptions. You obviously are good at reading things, correct? Is that something you want to continue to improve on? Yes, sir, no doubt. Um, the, the least amount of uh, turnovers you get, um, the, the, the better it is. Um, the, offensively, we never want to turn the ball over. Um, and, and that was a good stat I had last year, and we just hope to improve it this year. What was it like last season, that first game when you ran out of the field? Um, it was awesome. A lot of us, um, a lot of kids on the team, we've been there for two years. A couple of the people have been there since 2014 waiting for that time. Um, also, it was a lot of people's first Division One football game. So, I mean, it, it was – Highly anticipated, and it definitely lived up to the expectation. Well, the team returns 100% of their passing yards, 100% of their rushing yards, 99% of their wide receiver and tight end catches. As a quarterback, those are probably numbers that make your eyes light up, isn't it? Oh, that? yeah, there's no doubt. Especially with the guys we have, it makes my job easy. Let's talk about defense, the number one concern for defense this season. Well, I think for us, you know, we did lose some players that, that had, had experience, and, and so we were – we don't have to replace a bunch of guys, but I think the guys we replaced, you know, those four guys, those seniors were there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was, it was a concern, you know, and that's why guys like Broderick, you know, we've really got high expectations for them stepping up. You know, we try and play too deep across the defensive, you know, across defense, especially up front as much as we can. And, you know, we've always said we're going to win with defense, even though we've got high expectations for this offense group and score a lot of points. And, but, you know, that old saying of defense is winning championships, especially in a really good offensive league. Um, you know, we've got a lot of work to do, but I think we've had a good offseason. And, um, and we just got to build on what we did last year, which was a really solid performance. Roderick, I'm going to get to you, I promise. But one other question. Uh, when I'm looking at what happened in the spring and depth chart after spring, you've moved a lot of people around, have you not? Is it just one of those things putting – uh, pieces of the puzzle together it is you know i think we're constantly trying to to build the best mass mouse trap and we um you know we're a multiple defense and so you know to find ways to get guys too deep and and uh you know who's the guys that come in who's gotten better who's gotten stronger in the off season you, you know you got to put all that together well broderick you finished the season number two in total tackles with 95 also had two interceptions you didn't have less than seven total tackles in seven of 13 games played. Everybody would say that's a very successful year. Are you satisfied? Uh, no, 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 not satisfied <laughs> at all. Um, I like, like you said, last year was just last year. Um, this year is going to be, it's going to be a breakout season. Now, um, coach, coach was talking about having players like you step up. Mm -hmm. Is that something you've had to consciously think about that I have got to do? Work harder in the weight room, work harder on the field to show by example. Yes, very, very. Um, I have to really have to step up, um, really do the leader role of this year. Um, but I like it, you know, it gives me um, a, a job to do is to show them that you got to be good. What was it like last season for you in considering that, you know, you led the Conference USA in attendance, over 26,000 people a game. You hadn't played for over 1,000 days. What was it like, though, last season? Oh, uh, man, playing in front of those fans, man, that's an amazing feeling. Uh, Birmingham, the city is really coming together, and the fans really have faith in us. What's it going to be like this season? Because obviously the expectations are going to be very high. Very. Is very. it tough forgetting about Bahamas Bowl and records and all this? Um, To be honest, with Coach Clark, he really focused on to tell you that last year <laughs> is just last year, you know. <laughs> So, like, our team really has that in our head that last year was just last year. This is a whole new year. Does the fact you won four games by a touchdown or less, A.J., does that kind of keep you a little more humble? Uh, yeah, no doubt. This, the teams in this the, that we play in this conference are, are really good, high, highly competitive games, and um, we, pri we kind of prided ourselves last year on winning those close games. Now, the schedule, the first five weeks of the season, you have three home games and a bye. With a team that you're looking for players to fill holes, that's kind of a luxury schedule, is it not? That you've got the home games, but you also have a week off. Yeah, I think going into that that um, conference, 
schedule with, with three good non-conference opponents and, uh, you know, will help us to get ready. You know, obviously there's a little concern that we've got all those mm-hmm. conference games in a row as, as we go, and we're just going to have to be blessed and stay away from injuries. But uh, I think we do have a good schedule. Well, it's going to be a fun year again, and the question is, UAB, what are they going to look like this season? But knowing this man for a long time, I think your team is going to be outstanding again this year. Congratulations Thanks on last so. year, and good luck this season, gentlemen. Thank you, my friend. Thank you.